the aluminum rod AB is bonded to the brass rod BD. Knowing that portion CD of the brass rod is hollow and has an inner diameter of 40 millimeters, what is the angle of twist at A? This is the first example for the angle of twist in statically indeterminate problems main video. The link to that video and other examples are in the description below. We can find the angle of twist at A if we find the angle of twist of A with respect to D, which is the wall. This is the same as the angle of twist of A with respect to B, plus B with respect to C, plus C with respect to D. For each section of the rod, we need to find the torque, the length, the polar second moment of area, and use the shear modulus information. The lengths are given, and we know the shear modulus between A and B for the steel, and between B, C, and C, D for the brass. The polar second moment of area can be calculated for that of a solid cylinder for A, B, and B, C, and that of a hollow cylinder for section C, D. The internal torque T, B, A from B to A will be the same as the negative of T, A, B from A to B, which means that the internal torque in the first term is just T, A. The internal torques from C to B and from D to C will be the same since there are no external torques between B and D and a cut anywhere between B and D will allow us to calculate the opposite of those torques. Substituting those variables and then the values for torque A and torque B, we find that the angle of twist at A is 0.105 radians or 6.02 degrees. The positive value of the angle shows us that that angle has a counterclockwise direction. For more examples on angles of twist and statically indeterminate problems, as well as other main topics of the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.